Hi, <clears throat> Roberta Perry, Scrubs Body Skincare in Farmingdale, New York. I'm here to share my five tips for redefining success. I can tell you that when I started, it was definitely more about money. Um, I have a CPA husband, and so that was a metric that I could follow. But the more I got to know my customers, especially as we shifted more from wholesale to retail, the more it became so, so, so much more. So that's my first tip. Appreciate that money is only one way to gauge success. The relationships, friendships, and lifestyle that I have built are as equal to me as the money I earn. Somehow every year, I still make more money. My business grows every year. So happiness and great customer service tend to do that. And so, you know, again, it's all the things, not just about the money, but the money comes, which leads to my number two. Let your customers and clients know how you feel about them. Customer service is a big deal for me. It's really the icing on the cake. It's the sprinkles on the cone. It's that taking you from here to there in your customer's eyes. You know, they can go anywhere and get this kind of customer service, but if you raise the bar, oh my God, what success. So these happy business, business family members will then bring you other family and friends to your store, to your website. They'll remain fiercely loyal. Um, they'll become your brand ambassadors and it won't cost you anything except loving on them, which is really easy because the whole thing becomes very synergistic. It's pretty cool. So for me, the key is extra, extra attention, extra care, extra gratitude. Third, grow your business around the life you want. If that means hiring the right people so you can take time off to travel, do so. If it means hiring someone to do the work that you don't want to do, do so. It's shifting gears, it's recognizing that you really need help to build a successful business. And so this is how you're growing a lifestyle, not just a brand. Number four, tying that one in is liking who you work with, super important. I was lucky enough to build this initially with my late sister, Michelle. You know, um, she's still here. I feel her spirit in so many of the things that we do. Um, when she passed, my best friend stepped in and really filled that, you know, void, uh, which was incredible. So she is my VP, production manager, and really just makes sure everything gets done. Everything gets, you know, needs to be ordered um, and allows me to do everything else in the business. So, you know, she's incredible. Diana has been here almost five years. She's grown with us from like a teenager to this beautiful young woman in college to be become a teacher, uh, we're training other people, so it's pretty amazing to have a staff again that you trust and that allows you to have a lifestyle. You know, I could take a trip, I could take a day off, you know, I could come in late if I need to, help my mom out, things like that. Having a staff like, you know, really to depend on makes that happen. And finally, if it's not working, change it. Absolutely change it. It's sort of this great pivot and shift when COVID hit. You know, we went from being, you know, we also do a lot of parties here um, to becoming more of a private label, you know, um, brand and, a, you know, more of wholesale, which we hadn't done in a while. So it was like figure out different ways that you can shift your business, shift your income, find different ways to increase it so that you're not just dependent on one thing. Um, you know, additional success as you pivot is something that absolutely happens. So again, if it's not working, change it. And if it is keep with it so again this is roberta perry scrubs body skin care in farmingdale new york scrubsbody.com thanks for listening and you got it you got it in you so believe in yourself and just look in the mirror and i wish you the greatest thanks